So let's set that down so we, our hands are free. And we might have to do a little better. Oh, shh. Oh, man, you're fast. Holy crap. That guy just flew out of there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where are you? He's moving around so much I can't hardly do anything with him. Oh, uh, I think we're in trouble. I think we're in big trouble. I think we're in big, big, big trouble. Oh, shit. <laughs> it took him, what, one hit to break my barricade? <sighs> I hope you guys are enjoying my giblets. Okay, <laughs> son of a gun. I think we would be wise to wait until morning. It's only half an hour uh, before we go back for our stuff. Um, so let's, um, I guess our sprain doesn't go away after we die, huh? So let's put one of these on. You cannot use this at this, oh, right, because we can't, we don't need a splint for a sprain anyways. All right, well, I guess we just have to wait for that to wear off, right? Sprained leg. Yeah, we'll have to wait for that to wear off. If we had a... Oh, we do have a health bar. Um, I guess the question, though, now is... Should we... Since we're going to have to wait anyway, should we just let that wear off on its own and save the health bar for more dire situations? I kind of... Um, What the hell? What is that? <laughs> is that... Okay, though you experienced Ravenhurst players. Is that a... Is that just an ambient noise to freak me out at nighttime, or is that actually coming from something that's nearby? I don't know if I want to know the answer. There's wolves. There's a white. I'm guessing that's probably just an ambient noise because I don't hear any type of large monster that would maybe potentially fit that uh, that description. Too bad I didn't have my rifle. I could kill those wolves for meat, but. Okay. Um, well, I'm thinking that, the, yeah, that that's probably just a um, ambient noise to freak me out. Okay. Um, you know what? I, I'm going to, I'm just going to take this now. Otherwise, you know, I, I don't want to wait seven real time minutes because that's a freaking eternity. And um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, we need food and water, so let's let's take care of that too. We got plenty plenty of those sorts of things. I think I had in here. What does this actually do? Stam regen. Oh, this gives food, health, and water, and fifty percent stam regen. Let's just do it because I mean we need all of those things. We're getting a three for one deal on that. <laughs> uh, okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, we don't need. We don't need the crutch. We just have to wait for this to wear off. So, all right. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to head out now or... Because the problem is, is if we start to sprint... Yeah, see? You, you see the little sprain icon pulsing in the lower left-hand corner? That means that we're, we're making it worse when we sprint. And we can't just walk over there, because if we start getting chased by Zekers, uh, that would not go well. So, yeah, I'm just going to wait, guys, until the spraying is completely finished, and then we'll go get the stuff. So I'll, I'll probably just see you over at the place uh, as long as nothing crazy happens, but I'll keep the recorder running just in case. Oh, you know, one thing we could do while we're waiting, I forgot, is we've got some points to spend. We have two, uh, two points. 
So let's take a look at this. Um, what do we want to put these points into? Oh, let me remember to grab the lockpicks too. Where are those at? Wait, do I have lockpicks? I thought I had some lockpicks. Maybe I don't. Lockpicks are one of those things in this game that my eyes have a hard time zeroing in on, even though they're right in front of my face kind of thing. I don't know why that is, but I, I think I'm just expecting to find something else. Here we go. Okay, so let's grab those. So that way we can try and crack open that safe. We got our, our daily zombie spawn in. Okay, let's go back to our points and take a look and see what, what we should do. We've got a lot of things we need. It's a matter of prioritization, ladies and gentlemen, prioritization. So, um, mother load would be good uh, for sure for harvesting stuff. I am going to need to spend some time off camera doing some harvesting. Pain tolerance would be good. Uh, healing factors, good. Iron guts, good. Cardio, I'm not too worried about because we have the mini bike. Let's look at this. Running gun, flurry of blows from the shadows. That would that's this would help us, you know, when we're sneaking around. But I don't know if I want to put points to that. Better barter, physician. We've already done points into this stuff already uh what would we need for motorcycle well i don't think we should be thinking about the motorcycle right now we've got more important things to worry about craft workbenches and cement mixers uh okay so we got that going on in the intellect tree what about here construction tool crafting i would like to get to that soon but we have to get uh 20 right yeah we have to get the level 20 on that uh, what about bladed weapons or shotgun weapons? We have three points. <laughs> We've got three points of that. Um, okay. Archery weapons. Archery weapons crafting. What does this get us? Oh, the wooden bow. Okay. That would be nice. I, I want to start using the, you know, the bow more. Lock picking and mining tools. Yeah, I need. I just need to do this and try and get them up to 20. I just do not like to put spend points on action skills. It just rubs my fur the wrong way if you know what i'm saying okay let's go back to here so lucky looter wouldn't be a bad choice never a bad choice uh, especially in the early game uh treasure hunter not really so much mother load would be good uh i'm gonna take mother load okay so that that's decided i can't go wrong with that um and i mean you know running gun wouldn't be bad from the shadows wouldn't be bad but I think we should look to our health. So either healing factor or pain tolerance. So what's this going to do? Uh, that's going gain, to gain us one health every 90 seconds. And criticals heal 20% faster. This is going to reduce hit point loss by 5% and 10% less chance to get stunned. Iron gut is... You know, the thing about this is we're getting... You know, we're getting to the point where food and water is no longer, well, food and water is no longer a problem. So it, I don't know that it makes sense to spend points. I'm not saying this isn't useful. It is useful. But again, we have to prioritize, right? I think we're going to go with healing factor. Okay. So it's decided. That way we can actually slowly heal over time and our criticals won't last quite as long. Okay. So we've decided that. Let's see if we can get this last bit of health back up by eating some um some jerky uh, plus we need to eat anyways so that's going to help let's uh, see this gives us 11 health okay let's eat another one okay that's good and then i think uh we're gonna have to start thinking about making some more bandages here pretty soon as well I think we're in pretty good shape overall right at the moment. We could take... No, we, we got full health, so we're good. All right, let's go. Let's go back and get our stuff. And then if we if we can... Oh, nice. Um, Since that wolf is just sitting there waiting for us to harvest it, let's harvest it. Uh, Harvesting that wolf now is probably not a good idea. 
unless this guy buggers off. He's kind of agitated about something. I don't think he sees us, though. It's hard to say. All right, well, let's not waste time doing that. I, went, I mean, I would have loved to have harvested that wolf, but... We got to get going. Those guys that killed us last night, they must have busted into the house another way. Probably over here. Yeah, this is how they got in. Okay. All right, let's go upstairs. Okay, back in business. So, we have, um, where are they? We have two steroids. I think I'm just going to use those and keep going so we don't have to worry about... Make sure there's not a zombie here. There, okay. Whew. So we don't have to worry about encumbrance, because uh, I would really like to get through this house. Nice! Three steroids. Even better. Mo better. What's this? Fried mushrooms recipe. Okay. I'll take that. Guess that's it for in here. Let's go down actually and do that safe now while I'm thinking about it. And I suppose we could go ahead and drop some stuff off in the mini bike and wait on the steroids because they are going to make us thirsty. Okay, let's try this. I do have my Lucky's on, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Should probably just have Lucky's on all the time when we're looting. You know, like when we're doing POIs and then have the nerdies on pretty much every other time. Especially want the nerdies on when we're killing zombos, you know, the big groups of them, because that's good XP. Okay, we got it in the second shot. Come on, give us something good. I would love a 9mm right about now. Even an AK would be good too, but a 9 would be really nice to have right now. Uh, handgun barrel. Look at that. All right, I have some handgun parts back at the base. I just don't remember exactly what all parts I have. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just uh, do all of this over to here. Uh, five blunderbusses on the toolbars. <laughs> it's, it's a bit much. Let's grab our torch. I mean, if we can't get the job done in five blunderbusses, we might as well just pack it up and go home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, we'll we'll hang on to that one for compare, uh, you know, combine repairing later, though. Uh, no, I'm not going to do the stupid yellow quests. Never have been a fan of those. Those of you who have been watching me for a while know that. Okay, let's put all this stuff in here. Lighten up a little bit. I want to keep that stuff. We can keep uh, our critical fixes in here because we can just come out and use them if we need to later. Uh, likewise, we should probably just start keeping these in the mini bike. Put the extra bandages in there. We could keep those in the mini bike too. We don't need to be carrying those in our inventory. Is there anything else we don't need right now in the house? We could put the rifle in here, I guess. I don't know. I'd like to hang on to that, though, just because it is a gun and you never know, right? And let's keep the lock picks in here. We can always come back out and grab them again if we find another safe in the house. Okay, that wasn't bad loot, actually, all things considered, you know? Uh, that wasn't bad loot. Okay, let's go back up here. Oh, I was going to do one other thing. I want to block this... So they can't just walk right on in, you know what I mean? So we're finished in this room. 
Nothing in there. Okay, I think there's a pretty fair chance that we're going to have a Zombo in here. It's going to be kind of hard to hit. I don't know if we're going to be able to hit that or not. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. What if we just make some noise? All right, we're going to have to do this the hard way. We might want to load that, you know? It helps. Okay, can we pop this from here? Okay, no Zeke's in there. That's good. Check the nightstand. I'm, I'm like, totally psyched about getting to the fat loots at the end of this POI because there's some good stuff in here. Well, I should say there's some good containers in here that could have some good stuff for us. Uh, okay, let's grab that, I guess. The bed could be worth taking apart, but... Um, not really too worried about that right now. Let's be on the lookout for buzzards. Let's see what's in here. Okay, there's probably a Zom in there. Yep, there he is. You gonna get stuck, buddy? Okay. What's up with that? Okay. Um, we should probably think about hanging on to stuff like this if we have to go into a snow biome at some point but this is seven two i always get mixed up on those numbers for armor um this is nine nine yeah so okay this is not as good regardless i don't whoops i don't care about the die i just don't it's just not important the only die i might consider hanging on to is black die if we get it um this however we might think about hanging on to for cold weather okay Ooh, look at that big old food pile. Well, it's actually a medium food pile. Eh. Okay. That is better than our broken one. Okay, there we go. Speaking of which, do I have other armor that's like totally broke? Nope, it was just that one. All right, good deal. Why don't we... Take this apart, because we'll get uh, mechanical parts, leather, and iron from it. So that's always a good thing. Okay, so how does this... This gives us a little more heat resistance, but not enough really to worry about it. This is the same as what we have. And the sell price is not worth taking up an inventory slot, so we're going to scrap it. I guess that's not a take-apart bed. All right, we got Baldy there. A toolbox. Ooh, I wonder if that cement mixer down there works. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to um, see if we can figure that out before we leave this place. Because that would be useful. Ah, I guess we're gonna check it now. <laughs> nah, it's destroyed. Okay. Stamina back here. Okay. So I don't have a shovel on me. Ah, it's too bad this doesn't work, man. And I'm not even going to take that. 
take it apart. Get some decent stuff off of this. All right. Well, let's go unload again since we're down here. I knew that uh, that little trap was there, but I just completely forgot about it. I think I'm going to hang on to this for combined repairing. And we're starting to get to the point where we're not going to have room for more stuff. Here, let's just do that. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the rest of the stuff we're going to have to carry. Uh, again, that doesn't have significant more heat resist, so we'll take that. Let's take the lock picks with us in place of the ingots, because it's not likely we're going to find more ingots. Let's take the jar of honey with us in place of the what i don't know i <laughs> guess we'll leave that there okay let's get back in here again can we get back up here from here by chance look at that okay now there's possibly some zikaroos in here <laughs> so many jump scares, man. So many jump scares. Okay. We've got the attention of a couple of yahoos from down below. Yeah, we, bought, we probably better deal with them just because they have a a pathway up to the to the roof if they're I don't know if their AI is smart enough for that but it might be Ah! <laughs> I was going to say, I thought I heard another zombie and I was just trying to be quiet. We're going to have to call this the jump scare episode, man. I don't usually get that many jump scares in one episode. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a little bit of stamina back here. Okay, I hear more Zeeks. Is it just you or are there even more of you? I, I need to put my luckies back on, otherwise. Okay, let's do this again. We're going to start collecting the rotten meat because we need it for the compost. Except for we didn't get any rotten meat over there. How about that? How about that? Give me another wrench, please. Give me another wrench. Oh, come on, game. Yeah, we'll take that stuff. Okay, so... Now we're going to have, this is the room with the fat loots, but there's also going to be some Zeeks in here, as you can imagine. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, well, here, let's just, I'm going to, we want to take a pain pill. Yeah, let's take a pain pill. And, oh, you know what? I left my beverage in the, the mini bike. Ah, oh, doggone it. Okay, well. We're going to get thirsty here. So I think there's like a closet here that the Zeeks are going to pop out of. Can we loot this? Fortunately, it doesn't make noise until after we pull it off. Okay. Give 
Give me something good. Ooh, look at the quality on those things. Okay. I've considered using the the steel or the stone sledge. It's a great weapon. Okay, let's close this again for a minute. I'm going to take this now just because we need some hydration. See if that'll kind of help with that. All right, now, um, so we got that part of it looted. See, I see a hand right there. That's an Edgar. But I don't think Edgar's the only Zeke in here is the thing. Yeah, okay, we woke him up. All right, let's, uh, let's put that there. Oh, is that even going to work? I think he can climb around that, can't he? Not if we do that, though. Okay. Let's see if we can dispatch Edgar first. It won't take him long to break these, so we got to take him down fast. Okay, let's pick this one up to effectively repair it. Okay, everybody loaded. Oh, no, everybody is not loaded. It's a good thing we decided to check it. Okay. Yeah, there is somebody in there. Ooh, can we do this? No, it's not going to let us put those there. Really? Okay. Yeah, I know I'm thirsty. There's two zombos in there, and then neither one of them woke up. Uh, all right, how how should we play this? We could put that one there. Can we break this without getting their attention? Unbelievable! I can't believe that did not wake them up. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Oh, there's someone over there. Okay. It's the infected neighbor. Should have got your uh, COVID vaccination, man. I told you. I didn't do a very good job of getting um, shots off on these guys with my, my blunders. But, hey, we got the job done. <laughs> we got the job done. All right. Let's pick up both of these. And then we need to reload. Yeah, I remember uh, doing this house in Undead Legacy in the early game. And I actually found a um, an assault rifle. It was one of the modded assault rifles. A 5.562 gun. And man, I it was such a nice find that early in the game i couldn't believe it it's so nice to have and i used it for a long time too okay so uh let's um open up the ammo pile here we're getting some nice high quality bone shivs uh we're gonna scrap both of these we could sell those for 55. what are we wearing right now so that gives us 7-7. Seven, seven. Well, these don't have any armor at all. Yeah, okay. We're just going to scrap those. We could sell them, but we're just going to do that. Okay, let's check the guider bush. We also have the pool house we can take a peek inside of as well. Um, I don't know. Are there buzzards up here? Can't remember. And even if there wasn't last time, that doesn't mean there isn't this time. 
Okay, I think there's like a big ammo pile in this attic. And there's, yeah, and there's also a cam bench too. Okay. We have a chance for a gun in here too. At least we would in vanilla. Eh, all right. Well, it's good stuff, but not, not what we needed right at the moment. And then uh, we got a luggage thingamadoodle here. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's look at that. This gives quite a bit more armor rating, like three more than uh, the football helmet that we're wearing. Okay, that was a nice find. That was a very nice find. Five acid. Yeah, I'll take five acid. All right, you guys, that's it for this POI. Well, actually, no, it isn't. We still have the pool house, and there's going to be... Uh, there's going to be some Zeeks in there, too. Um, and we are super encumbered. So let's actually go back to the uh, mini bike and see if we can drop a few things off. I don't think I'm going to take a, uh, a steroid at this point since we're done. Um, and we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go back uh, to the base and drop stuff off before we hit the next POI. Could come back and get that concrete at some point. I don't have a shovel with me right now, though, so I can't do anything about that. Okay. Yeah, we're not... Uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to chuck that screw. It's just... Uh, well, don't chuck it. Let's scrap it. Just because we can make them so easily. Uh, we have plenty of cans, so let's scrap that. These aren't really going to be worth spending a repair kit on to repair to sell um and we're not going to use them anymore so let's scrap them for plastic okay and i think uh we'll get rid of that we don't need it i'm going to scrap these also not super important right now let's put our bow back down there okay let's go check out the pool house and then uh, we'll be done with this poi this has been an, a pretty decent looting section, uh, section, session. All things said and done. Oh, we need our water too. Our golden rod tea. Oh, uh, you know what? I left it all the way back at the base, didn't I? Shoot. Well, we need to eat and drink anyway, so this will give us a, a tiny bit. We can put the plastic in there. Let's grab, make sure we have a full stack of bandages. And yeah, we'll be fine. All right, we're, we're about ready to head back to the base anyways. We're just going to check the pool house really quick. We might find uh, something in here too. Nope. Nothing in there. Is there anything? There's a dead body in in the pool. Hey, where did you come from? What the hell? Oh, there's some cupboards in there. It's like a secret hidden compartment. All right, let's deal with the uh, biker bill here. We might as well wake up whoever's in here. Hello. Oh, there isn't anybody in there. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> okay, got to mind our stamina. We have a little bit less than we normally would have. Nice. Um, does this give us hydration? It doesn't, but it does give us food, and we could need we could use some of that. The peas we should probably start thinking about hanging on to for shepherd's pie. And then there was a couple of like hidden cabinets in here. Okay. Nice. All right, guys, I think we've fully looted this place, uh, with the exception of the, um, the the concrete, which we could come back for later if we wanted to. Might as well hit this and get some good stuff from this. What do we get from those? Are we getting anything from those? Oh, we're getting cloth and scrap iron, right? Yeah, okay. 
I am heavy. This would be a bad time to get chased. All right, well, I think we're, uh, what I'm going to do is go back to the base, strap stuff off, get our inventory situated, and then we'll start... Then we'll start the next episode. Uh, I've got a lot of editing to do because I've recorded this in the previous episode all in one session. Um, but uh, I'm, you know, definitely going to have to make this into two episodes because otherwise it's just going to be way too long, um, most likely. So we will start up the next episode on this same day. It's day 22, by the way. So tomorrow we got to... Uh, I think we're going <coughs> to, excuse me, stick with the same plan that we did last time for Horde Night uh, in the other building. But I'm going to try and light it up a little more and see if there's something I can do to keep the zombies in a place where I can kill them better, you know? Uh, so that'll be our focus on day 21. Uh, but for tomorrow, uh, or no, for I'm sorry, for the rest of this day, we're just going to continue uh, doing some more POIs because it's, you know, definitely been profitable and more importantly, fun. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.